So I'm going to do a little demonstration on how um, you can make a resist with a stencil and metallic spray paint. The metallic spray paint I used for this particular one was Rust-Oleum Krylon because it's very, very shiny and it creates a great resist. When we do this, we're going to go ahead and we've got our twinks nice and wet and we're just going to make circles on each of the roses. Just a circle all the way around. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the center part of the roses where the detail is to have a little bit of a different shade or a different color than all the way around the outside where it's going to be green. And you can see how it's all bubbling up. That's because it's made a resist. And everywhere that it's not bubbling, it's going to sink in and tint the paper, which is kind of cool. What I like about this technique is that you don't have to be any kind of uh, artist. You're going to let the paper work for you. You're going to let the stencil work for you. You're going to let the Krylon paint work for you or the Rust-Oleum paint work for you, which makes it a lot easier. And you can't really mess it up, which that really makes it nice. You can use this as a background for maybe some art journaling, maybe a card, maybe a cool scrapbook page, something like that. And you notice, too, that I'm not really um, making them all the same color because, let's face it, no two roses are the same, right? They all look different. They'll have a little bit of shade, little changes in color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit. Keep dipping this off. I'm going to let this sit for a minute. And while we're letting this sit, we're going to clean our brush really well. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it off the paper towel. And then, spritz my olivine, my favorite color in the whole wide world. Got to love the olivine. I like it because it matches every single color of the luminar paint we have. So meanwhile, I'm going in between the roses and I'm going to paint with olivine. And you're going to notice that some of the red is going to start to drift off and mix in between. And it kind of makes the green look like it's variegated. So I actually don't mind that it blends in there. I mean, who wants a perfect background anyway? I just want it to be a little bit watery, a little bit artsy. You hear the fire truck in the background? It's kind of funny. You hear that every day, all day. Anyway, you see how this is going? Oh, all the way around. And I kind of like it also because it's kind of fast. You can see how this makes it kind of a nice brown up there. Red and green does make brown. Which for me is fabulous because brown is my favorite color. Right, Maddie? Mm-hmm. Everything should be brown, actually. Funny as I have... She means black. She means black? Well, I like black, too. But I think, really, my favorite color is brown. I like to wear black. I like to look at brown. So we're going to keep going. I'm almost done. I'm going to get a little bit more water in here. And in just a second, we're going to get, go ahead and we're going to wipe off the roses. Kind of see how dark they are and see what ones. Well, I'm going to wipe. Why are you talking, you silly goose? Are you questioning me? Yep. you questioning You shouldn't be questioning your mom. That's terrible. Anyway. So we're going to keep on going until we're just about done. It's not going to be perfect. We'll come back and touch it up. We're going to go ahead and get our paper towel, and I'm going to kind of fold it up nice and small. And I'm going to go through here and just really dab the roses. Okay, wipe, dab, holy smokes. Okay, so we're going to dab them up. You can see the pretty variation of color. And because I have the darker on here too, when I go and touch in the other ones, it starts mixing the colors. You can see that that's going nice. Very pretty. And... The other thing that's nice is, if see how down here that there's um, some leftover on the roses? We can spritz this later after we're done painting and we'll be able to really clean off the details and get all that last little bit of lumen art right off those roses so it's perfect. Now I can kind of see some spots where I want to do some touch up on my roses. You see that? See where the white is? We want to get rid of all that white. I'm going to shift this around and just get a little bit of the green all cleaned up. It's coming together. I must say, I kind of like it. Okay, so we're going to do real fast. 
going to go like this. We're going to just do a little quick touch up, just where we kind of missed a couple spots. <coughs> and I'm kind of just <coughs> using a light pink in here because it's the least amount of color and it kind of just brings it all together. I don't want any white left over, no white dictionary left. Anything left here. And then keep going. Looks pretty good. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. And one more time. I'm going to just touch up with a little bit of the green, cleaning off our brush. Get a little water in here. A little bit of leftover paint colors. Let's see where this was at. This would be really cool to do with uh, white, cry like not white, but with the clear Krylon paint. Because then it would just be a resist and all you would see behind their roses would actually be a um, dictionary, which we all know how much I love dictionary, right? Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna clean this up one more time. And how's this looking? It's looking pretty good. My cinematographer over here, She's talking to me while I'm trying to uh, talk to you. And she's playing with chopsticks, which is a little tiny tad bit distracting. Just saying. Okay, so we're going to clean this up really good. I'm going to spray it with water, just like I mentioned. I'm going to take a clean part of the paper towel one more time. Just really get it nice and crisp. Gotta love it, right? And it's very crisp. And on the little section here where I see just a tad bit too much of the peach kind of a color sneaking out. Go ahead and one more time just to kind of tone it down just a tap a little bit. All right we'll just let this puppy dry and we'll use it on a pretty project. <laughs>